royalty. Um, I do not own the rights to the music in the background. That is meditation music from YouTube. Um, some of you, you are looking into different things to help enhance your mood. I feel like some of you are needing to tap into like HZ frequencies and things of that sort. Also, like start getting involved in activities like finding new hobbies. I have a lot of channel songs, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Jaheem Hush is the first channel song. Genuine Love You More. Donnell Jones, Special Girl. Mariah Carey, One Sweet Day. Robin Thicke, Sex, Sex Therapy. Future, I'll Wait For You. Coco Jones, I See You. Aaliyah, I Miss You, Whitney Houston, Heartbreak Hotel, Sierra, Other Chicks, Jasmine Sullivan, Need You Bad, Savannah, Christina, Soul Ties, Janine Akio, I think that's how you pronounce it, Triggered, Escape, Safest Place on Earth, and then the last one is Case, Missing You. So clearly you can see that somebody is missing someone in this energy. I'm going to go ahead and start right now. Somebody here named is Donnell, that's for sure. Some, someone here, last name is Jones, because two different artists' last names are Jones. Um, excuse me, is Jones in this spread. Also, somebody here could be, name could be Coco or Robin, Aaliyah, Whitney. Somebody here could be from Houston. Someone's name could be Jasmine, Sierra, Savannah, Christina, Janine. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, right on the bottom of the deck. High honor. I think that's always on the bottom of the deck, though, really. Clear, honest, and accurate messages. I feel like there's a lot that is going to transpire. And I feel like a lot is going to have you shifting your focus towards, okay, something that is, um bigger than you okay somebody here has a big purpose i feel like your ancestors are helping you clear the smoke somebody here is surrounded by a lot of smoke and mirrors somebody here could be born on the 25th or the 24th there's the thief here i also child on the bottom of the deck i feel like somebody here Ancestors is at war with someone. Or they could be at war with their own ancestor. One of their own. It could be a child. Something is being done to a child. Or something was done to you since you were a child. Or when you were a child. C and M is on that light pole. So somebody here, initials could be C, M, or M, C. Or you could just have those initials anywhere in your name. First, middle, or last. I don't know, but this woman looks very... Vicious. Someone here could be born on the 25th or the 24th. I've already said that. Pathway. I think something is, is coming to light about a child. Because look, there's light and there's butterflies, which represents a transformation and there's also a light in this card so something is coming to light about something within your bloodline so these could this could be family secrets main female imprisonment someone here could be born on the 29th or the second or in the second month on the 29th on the 25th, the 24th. This main female looks very concerned about something. 
and I feel like it involves something that could land someone in jail or it's involving someone that is already in jail. Sudden wealth. It can be involved with a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money could be involved in this situation. Ooh, so somebody here needs to use their discernment. It says sudden wealth. Okay. Someone here likes red flowers or white flowers. These could be roses. Or they have them on their tables. Support. Somebody here is trying to blend in as a supporter. Somebody is trying to sway off your intuition about something or someone. Someone here has a lot of supporters, though. This could be you or someone else. Somebody here could be gaining a lot of support against you. Or you, you have a lot of support that is helping you in a situation. These could be your angels. These could be actual people here on the physical plane of existence. I feel like there's an ancestor that has seen something. Okay. I also feel like somebody's in a trance though. Because this woman is, is grinning way too hard. And this man looks like he don't even have any eyeballs. So somebody here could be turning a bl blind eye on something or somebody here is in a trance. Like they don't really realize what they're seeing. Or doing. Hmm. So somebody here could have been overtaken by a spirit. Or will be. like mm, memories in reverse somebody is letting go of memories that they remember or don't want to remember i feel like someone here is also blessings somebody is I want to say majestic, like somebody here is very magical. You, I don't even know how to explain it. You, I'm not going to say you summons because all living things naturally gravitate to you. Look at those fish being drawn to this lady. I feel like somebody's divine light is a threat. I keep speaking about a, a siren-like spirit. Somebody here could have been a siren in their past life. Or you're still connected to these siren-like energies because it's within your bloodline. And it doesn't even have to be a siren. This could be alien. This could be, you know, any different type of, you know, mammal or not. This could be angels, avenging angels, things like that, demons, and I said angels, demons, I can't even think of the name of the name, deities, there we go, healing, somebody here has a healing bloodline, like I said, something is unifying within a, a union, this could even be like you coming into alignment with your soul tribe. You're going to have so much support that people are not going to be able to deny. They're like, I remember when she couldn't even rub two, two rusty nickels together. Or I remember when he used to have dirty socks on in the lunchroom. Gentleness in reverse. So yeah, somebody here was picked on waiting. You've waited your turn and it's your turn. That's what I'm hearing. Unavailable. Somebody here was unavailable to somebody. And it says this person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. So somebody here. I feel like everyone that you ever loved or got attached to always treated you like you were a bother or a, um, a burden. There we go. Or try to manipulate you in some type of way. 
you've never experienced like unconditional love. You've experienced love with conditions. Wow, obsession on the bottom of the deck. And it says, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. So somebody here is obsessively thinking about someone or something way too much. And it says, passion, put away the computer, and mastery. So basically, there's a lot of passion in a situation. And I feel like somebody here is very obsessed with your energy. You are a mystery to this person. They don't understand how you've mastered your past or how you've you know, done so much work on yourself or within yourself along your specific journey. And it says, working less will help strengthen your relationship. So somebody here, you always work and work and work and work and work. And this is why most of your relationships, you know, I'm going to say they're, they're seeming one-sided, okay? I'm just the messenger. Twin flame on the bottom of the deck. So somebody is involved with a twin flame or is thinking about their twin flame and it says this is a divine counterpart connection and i want to clarify not everybody have a twin flame and then not to mention not everybody is even in the vibration to even meet their twin flame so some of you you have not even met your twin yet okay and like i was saying here now your true love is already a part of your life so you are needing to Spend some alone time so that you can heal from all of the relationships that you've ever had. That way that you can pinpoint your one true love. And when you do, it doesn't mean that you have to be with this person forever. You know what I'm saying? You can always have a friend in someone. You got a friend in me. Somebody here is going to be celebrating something huge, I feel like. Because there's a lot of passion within the situation. And then, um, what is that song? Luther Vandross, here and now. I don't even remember the words, but you get my gist, okay? Clear, honest, and accurate messages, source. And then with all the channel messages or songs from earlier, y'all know somebody here is in love. And somebody here wants you to keep it on the hush. Or somebody here is, oh, okay, with that three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is involved in a third party. And a third party is not always, you know, someone cheating. This could be, you know, someone here is working too much and they don't have time for you. You know, things like that. Or this could be, you know, someone's friends intervening with your relationship. Oh, I don't think you should do that. Six of Cups. Somebody is mourning a relationship with someone. And I feel like maybe someone here has lost a lover and if you did my condolences or maybe you have lost a lover but they're not dead but you're still mourning that they're not a part of your everyday you know life like they once were queen of swords yeah because somebody here don't take no shit seven of swords in reverse somebody here is not willing to be a sneaky link somebody here is not willing to you know Rob Peter to pay Paul, basically. Somebody here is also in a reminiscing energy about, you know, how they once had their guard down. Okay? And they don't want to do that again. Okay? The will. Something is turning in someone's favor or against someone's favor. Wow. These are a lot of cards. I'm not even going to take them all. But, well, I guess I will. So, basically, with the Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, I said Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, excuse me. And then Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. I feel like somebody here... Somebody here, they juggle a lot of things in life. And, and, like, somebody here, they have a business or a career. They also have children. So, it's like, they don't really know how to fit in dating. They want to be able to reciprocate, you know, 
passion and affection towards someone. But I feel like something has become, you know, obsessive. Somebody here is becoming possessive. Somebody is losing their mind. They're like, I refuse for you to be, you know, planting seeds with anybody else but me. It ain't no other choices. You don't need to choose nobody else but me. <laughs> Somebody here wants to start over new, turn over a new leaf with you. Oh, 777, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. 777. That is dope. Let's get these names. I'm not going to make this too long. Mm. Let me swoosh these around and then I'll pull. That is dope though. Somebody here, this is this is a very powerful message. Look up all of the angel numbers that I called out, even on my um, picture readings. I feel like somebody here is expanding as well. Like, there's a little boy that is destined to come between someone. Even if this is like a grandchild, he's going to be so handsome. His favorite color is going to be brown and green and blue. Clear, honest, and accurate names. are going to be first, middle, or last names. Oh, wow. All of these. All right. So, basically, I feel like there's many of little boys. It's not just one, as you can see. I feel like somebody's grandpa is with this child, or this grandpa is granting this little boy um, like a body to come to earth like soul the movie soul the cartoon soul so somebody's spirit baby is half here and half not okay there could even be little girls as well but for now all i'm saying is boys because there's a little boy on this card anywho look Mm, Clooney, Isha, Willis, this name keep coming out, Stallings, Evan, Russell, Paige, Akins, or Atkins. Did I say Tamir? Lewis? O'Neal? Amanda? Missy? Elliot? Otto? Harvey? Tari, Hi, Carmen, Giovanni, Laval, and for some of you, the ones that are up in age and you don't have children, your children are coming. I had to say that because somebody here is like, oh my goodness, I don't got no kids. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Your time is your time. Don't rush it. Okay, because you're going to wish when you have kids that you didn't have kids. So let it be. Okay, Martika, Lehman, Rocky, LaShawn. Any name that I pull, it could also be your ancestors as well. Bessie, it don't have to be your name. Rivera. 
Luke, Kaya, I think, yeah, Kaya, Emerson, Gavin, Juan, Nunnally, Antonio, Warren, Shakela, Adina, Oliver, Sharp, Wendell, McKnight, well, I keep falling out my hand, Boykin, so something is slipping out of your hands, you feel like. Ken or Kenny Bagley, yeah, Bagley Dunn Mildred Ricky Patrick Eisenhower. It's the last day now. Thanks for watching.